Today we're going to do the video walk around on the Adventure 980 RDS truck camper with a single slide. Exterior view, you see the new 3D graphics, you see the G3 gel coat sided fiberglass hardwall. As we go down the side of the exterior you see the new three-dimensional graphics, the new black framed dark solar reflective windows. See the outside exterior vent for the range hood and the side wall vent for the shower. This compartment here on the side you'll see the dual or the service center. This is the one stop service center. It has your potable water fill, your outside shower with dual controls, hot and cold your city water connection and your black tank flush connection also you see the mouse hole they call it in the bottom where you can lift it up run all of your cables and wires down through there and still have your access completely locked on the other side of the compartment you have your electrical center with a GFI 110 outlet at the top your exterior cable connection and your 30 foot 30 amp electrical power cord. In this further compartment down on the driver's side is your dual 20 pound 5 gallon propane tanks. Easy access, easily strapped for secure traveling and an auto switch over valve standard on this particular model. Right below the propane tank compartment is your quick disconnect. This is an optional item for exterior barbecues, lighting, etc. One of your key features with all Adventure ALP products is we measure every truck camper for weight and for COG. And we mark it on the outside of the unit as you see here with this big, large red and white area. The important part of COG is you want your center of gravity to be within the load range of your truck. Typically will be anywhere on this particular truck. It's 8 inches behind the axle and 14 inches in front of the axle. This is a Ford F350 one ton single rear wheel unit. So it easily falls. In this particular model of this 980 RDS on a long bed truck comes in at about 8 inches in front of the axle. Well into your COG range. This particular truck is also equipped with the new torque lift stable loads and on this particular model we're just barely touching the overload springs. At the far rear and the wing of the unit is a large storage bay giving you big deep storage inside of here for additional items. New for 2013 is the new generation Happy Jack Camper Jacks with the hot dip galvanized tube with a white powder coating over the top and the new galvanized foot and leg on the unit. A lot quieter operation as you can see here. With a nice tight seal on the bottom of the unit. A very nice feature of the Adventure products is the electric rear awnings. You see the switch there. The nice thing about this is it's one button, push button operation bringing the awning easily out for your ease in camping gives you a nice seven foot by eight foot closed shaded area out the back of your camper one of the nice features of this unit is the gas filled props that in windy conditions resist wind and doesn't allow the wind to tear your awning off like in the manual awnings. Also you'll notice the legs sticking down in the way on the side of the camper. All Adventure products are built with the proprietary TCC construction. This is a true composite construction exclusive to Adventure Limited Partnership giving us the best bonding system in the industry which gives us the ability to allow a three-year warranty on our structure. See the new exterior LED lights on the tail lights, all of your marker lights and your exterior porch light.
interior lights are 100 percent LED also for 2013 models. Right of the entry door on the 980 RDS is the generator compartment or storage bay. This particular model is built with the generator ready option. You have to have this option along with the generator if you order generator complete. You'll notice with our generator complete it comes with a galvanized liner and all fuel and electrical lines plumbed into the unit. One of the nice optional features that's very popular in the Adventure product is the Comfort Step Bumper. Again, another Adventure exclusive. It's got the nice two-step fold-down step. It folds down nicely so easy access into your camper. This is an Adventure exclusive only on Adventure products. Nice, easy four-step entry into your camper makes entrance nice and easy. Exterior of the passenger side slide out is deep storage base. That's under the dinette. Giving you a lot of additional exterior storage. On the passenger side also is your dual battery storage compartment with a slide out tray. This is an ABS tray unlike the metal slide out trays that get corroded and jammed up and don't work down the road easy access out and also inside of your battery compartment where you would logically expect it it would be your power disconnect push on or off with the push of a button in front of the battery box you see the vents for the large six cubic foot refrigerator for access for serviceability as we enter into the 980 RDS into the rear you can see the slide is in the end position giving you about 8 to 12 inches of space to sneak by the slide if you're a little thinner. If not, the nice thing with the happy jack slide mechanism, the electric slides push button activated right there. With the push of the button it easily glides out. Nice and quiet, steel cut tooth rack and pinion drive. You can run it out partially and get in the unit. And with the heavy mechanism that's built by happy jack, it's a steel angled steel frame platform that supports the whole weight of the slide so that in the half in or half out position you can utilize the shot slide and seat people in it okay now with the slide out let's enter into your adventure truck camper walk right up into the unit the first thing you notice as you enter into the door is the large roomy open floor plan after you pass the large wet bath to your left see the galley area to your left you can see the dinette dream dinettes slide out to your right and immediately to your left is the sliding bath door to the large one piece shower stall it goes clear up to the ceiling ceiling off and a really nice feature of the 980 is the full bath size tall skylight giving you abundant light but also an additional six to eight inches of headroom in this unit this one's good for showering for tall people you can see the exterior side vent here allowing us the room for the big skylight large medicine cabinet with mirror door the molded one-piece sink along with your sealed TP holder new this year to the 2013 models is the porcelain style toilet you can see there it looks like it's porcelain shiny it's got the narrow base and the foot flush like a porcelain toilet but it's still a composite keeping it lighter that you want in your truck camper as you enter the unit past the bath you'll see a large pantry storage area with a large hanging wardrobe good for your coats and items as you come in out of the weather and two deep drawers with metal ball bearing roller guides for ease of operation. You'll notice the full extension drawers comes clear out so you can access the back of the unit. Uh, getting those items that are stuck to the back of the drawer like other manufacturers that don't have full extension drawers as you can see here you can't get to some of the items in the back. You'll notice as we open these up the nice tight bull nose catches. Makes it nice and secure during travel. As you move past the storage area you see the 
seal burner cooktop oven combination. Adventure has the larger oven standard. It's your cook controls on the top. Your backsplash folds up neatly out of the way for your three burner cooktop. You'll also notice closely here the no opening on a sealed burner range top makes it easier to clean. No debris getting down in the flame area causing fire potential. A much cleaner and nicer stove top. Behind the stove top you'll see the standard built-in maple knife rack which is really convenient and nice storage area for your knives. Above the units you'll see the cooktop vent hood oven with light and fan built in. Above that you'll see the microwave. It's the Advent microwave with the touch controls. As you pan around into the large counter space L style kitchen you'll see all the additional counter space that's available in this model. The deep composite double bowl sinks one large and one extra large, easy to do pots and pans. A high rise, high neck nickel faucet with hot and cold controls. You'll see at the back of the galley there, conveniently accessed 110 electrical outlet for those 110 needs. Nice big windows for your view out your scenery from your camp spot. Below in the galley you see abundant storage with the large double do door cabinets under the sink. Place to store your cutting boards, your pots and pans. Very large storage in here. Also your Happy Jack controller is located in this location so if you ever need to change a fuse or access it for any reason it's easily locatable. Right above those doors and below the galley counter is your monitor panel, your DSI water heater, your monitor panel showing your different levels of tank capacity and battery levels and then to your left is the large bank of three drawers. Again full extension ball bearing roller guide giving you nice deep storage all the way through. Overhead cabinet storage again is quite large with big double door access giving you a very large storage area with a very convenient smaller shelf up above for the smaller items. As you first enter the door you see the Dream Dinette to the right that we talked about. The Dream Dinette is a very nice feature. You'll see this particular interior color decor is the Timberline, new for 2013, with the pattern fabric on the back cushions and the solid seat cushion in the accent fabric, resisting stains and wear and tear. One of the nice features of the large dinette is also the large windows, so you get nice, beautiful view of your exterior camping area, your golf course in this case the sand trap you want to avoid obviously but the dinette, dream dinette table has a lever underneath that makes it real quick and easy access to disengage the table you press it down it's on a gas prop it easily fits down to make into a bed and your back cushions move forward making it into a finished 42 by 72 inch bed underneath your dinette is nice pull out drawers, again more storage in this unit, again full extension drawers with ball bearing metal roller guides on all of our drawers. Gives you more room for those big bulky items and that's on both sides of the unit. This wide open floor plan enters easily into the bedroom area where you have your stereo AM FM CD DVD player a place a shelf above to set your iPod or MP3 player and connects into the front of the unit to the USB port. Also you notice in the TV recess area where you can put in your LCD TV if you order that option. Gives you the RCA plugs to easily add that at any time and your 
if you order the TV antenna option it will come wired with the 12 volt boost power supply, the booster, and all of your settings and controls there. You'll see additional 110 electrical outlet there if you put in a 110 TV. As you enter into the bedroom you see the privacy curtain that you can pull across and seal off the bedroom area completely. You'll notice the wide open areas in the bedroom. You've got a sliding full wardrobe pantry that opens up to give you additional storage and hanging items. You've got a nice private countertop on each side for your personal use. You've got a very large gun cabinet goes full length under both sides clear under this cabinet and clear under the front table nightstand. You'll notice in the bedroom area the matching padded headboard with the matching comforter matches the decor. You'll see the overhead cabinetries at the top giving you even more storage in the sleeper area. You'll also notice the optional fantastic fan shown here. It's a 10 blade create a breeze fantastic fan open a window at the rear of the unit, turn this fan on, you get great ventilation. It really replaces air conditioning to about 80 degrees. You'll also notice new for 2013 is the 100% LED lighting. We got interior LED lighting and exterior LED lighting throughout the unit. In your galley area counter space is always critical so here's an additional pop-up optional countertop extension gives you some more nice additional countertop when the electrical center is located beneath the double doors in the galley easy access for all of your switches wiring fuses circuit breakers all located in this compartment you'll notice to the right the ducted air throughout this coach you'll have ducted air in the living, the bathroom, and in the basement holding tank. Your popular option is the living room skylight on the 980 RDS. It's a nice double layered dome for four season use. It's got a nice access to pull across to seal out the sunlight in the day and you can tell how much it really opens up the lighting in the unit. You'll notice also the Ozite carpeted ceiling gives you more insulation power, it gives you better sound deadening, and it's resistant to mold, mildew, and odors, so odors do not attach to it, cooking smells, smoking etc real easy to clean we're talking about the basement storage and insulated tanks inside I'll show you that now where we pull the rear step off and then you can access that basement door see it's a wide 48 inch door on so this particular model you can see the basement area with the holding tanks dump valves are all right here and in this particular model is one of three models that has the slide out tray built into it. So this long six foot tray out. Giving you six feet of long storage for fishing poles, skis, etc. Well, that concludes the video walk around of the Adventure 980 RDS 2013 model. If you need additional information, please contact us at the website at amlrv.com.